All right, guys, so now we're finally at the point where we're going to export this file into something that your client, you can attach to an email, and they can go ahead and use it. So let's go to File, and then we're going to go to something called Export. And like I said, you can hit um, Command-E. So when I click this, it's going to say, well, where do you want to put it? So I am just going to, in my favorites, I'm just going to have it set to my desktop. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to set it for print okay so when I make Adobe now there's two different kinds interactive and I, I will show you how do you make a link like my website I should have shown you that and I'll show you that um, in the uh, video playlist so I can always add that in the glories of uh, video editing so I'm gonna change it to Adobe I'm gonna leave it Adobe interactive because I will go back and show you how to make the um, URL for my website an active link then I'm going to go ahead and use InDesign document name, check all that, I'm fine with that. If I wanted to change it, I could do that here. I'm going to hit save. This new panel comes up. Okay, so we want all of the pages. If you only wanted certain pages, because maybe they don't want a cover, they don't want that cover image, so I could change that to range, and then I could say, oh, I only want two through three, pages two through three. But I'm just going to hit all because I want all of them. The rest of it's fine. I'm going to go to compression. Okay, so compression is important because then you want to know, like, what resolution. Okay, so based on what their submission requirements are for whoever it is, you need to check those, make sure it's correct because you don't want to make anything too big and then they're upset because you've, like, bogged up their email. They're like, oh, somebody sent me this really big file. So here, I can set it to medium and I can change the resolution. I always think, like, medium would be, like, 150, 144 is fine. But if you want to, if if all they want is something low res and they specify, oh, we just want it low res, then I would do 72. Okay? So JPEG quality low 72 because maybe they're just, if they want more, they'll contact you, like a printed sample or something. All right, so I'm just going to do 72. It's going to keep the file size down. If you want to, you can require a password so that people cannot edit the images because so there's people who may want to take your image and put it on something and you're worried about that, you can check mark this. I would not do this one because they're gonna they're not gonna contact you for a password. But if you check this one, you can specify maybe they need a password if they are gonna open it in Photoshop. Okay? or it but I I don't clients you know you assume that they're gonna do the right thing because if they're a reputable business you you don't really worry about it but if you felt like it was something you were concerned about you could password protect it but I never do when I'm sending a PDF I, I believe that hey they legitimately um, are a business so they don't want to upset the people who are working for them and then not you know take credit for something they didn't do so as long as they're a legit business you'll be fine I but yeah I never password protected but that's an option if you want to okay and then I just hit the export button okay so when you see this there is overset text on B cover so that means there is extra text it's probably extra returns so I'm gonna hit cancel I'm gonna come up here hit W See, how do I know? Look at that. There's this red little plus mark. So that means if I go back to my master because I can't edit it there. So when you see the little red plus, that means there's extra. It will change to white if there's none. I just had some extra returns there. So now I'm going to go to file. I'm going to hit export again. So same second time to see this. I want it on my desktop. Interactive. I'm going to hit save. I want to make sure my settings are correct. I want all pages. Compression. Correct, and I'm just gonna hit export. I'm not sh I'm not caring about whether CMYK or RGB because they're basically going to be just looking like this is for just looking on the screen. So I don't care about conversion. I'm just gonna hit OK. If you were actually going to send this off for a printed project, then yes, you do need to be uh, concerned about. It. I'm gonna minimize that, and lo and behold, PDF right here. Another trick I wanted to show you. See, you can see it's low res, it's kind of grainy looking. And if you need to even make it smaller, if you have Adobe Acrobat Pro, you can go to File, Reduce File Size. So when you click this, you can actually make the file smaller. You think, oh, I, I 
couldn't make it any smaller, but yes, you could. And it, it, every single time I've done that, it's made it smaller. So if you really want a pinch and you need to meet a minimum, because they'll also have a requirement. They'll tell you, like, don't make your files bigger than this. Make sure you check your file size. So if I want to check this file size, I can select this and hit Command-I. And then I can see, oh, that's probably going to fit their requirements. Usually they'll say, like, you know, 5 megs, 3 megs, or something like that. So I'm fine with that. And then I can click off of that. If you're doing it on a PC, you just want to check the property settings of that. But I don't have a PC, so I can't show you that. But anyways, so on to the step that I forgot to show you. I'm going to show you how to add a hyperlink. And 